Good morning. Uh, so today, um, I think I'm going to muck about with the Snippet Pixie CSS, the GUI. Um, actually, let's check these uh, plugins before we get going. That's fine. So when I started off, um, I created the CSS, the global CSS colors and things. Um, and it's using Nord as the base, but I don't think I'm using it quite right. Um, I think I've messed up on the primary, secondary and tertiary colors. Um, and definitely on highlight, although I'm not really using it in the right order there, um, the right way. I think that should be something else, but we'll get to that. Um, and that's had a knock on effect of the app not looking quite as it should. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, um, I updated my website. Um, let's go. We should stop doing that. Also, for a long time I had um, a www, but I don't do that anymore. Um, so the colours are better than it used to be. Um, it used to have that same sort of blue on the um, titles and things like I'm using in Snippy Pixie. So let's um, let's show what I mean. Um, what I'll do is I'll just bring it up here. Side that. So if you see here, um, if I'm in, say, if I go into edit, we've got this blue title. I think that's not correct. Um, Nord itself has specific use cases um, for each of these colors. Switch that to dark mode. Um, and I I think, uh, where's the, that might be at the bottom. Colors and patterns, yeah, that talks about it. So on each color, it tells you why it exists and what it should be used for. So you've got things like Nord Zero, which is the dark. Um, it says that this is uh, um, in, in dark mode, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, as my base. Um, it's used for background and area colouring. Uh, while it's not used for syntax highlighting, it is at all because otherwise it would uh, collide with the same background colour. Um, yep, so I'm using that, okay. Um, and then it goes on with all the other dark ones and so on. And then for Snowstorm, um, which is the kind of whites, the greys and whites, it talks about how um, for Nord 4, which is this slightly dark one here. Um, it's used for UI elements like the text editor carrot. Um, in the context of syntax highlight, and is used as a text color for variables, constants, attributes, and what and so on. So it's 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 um, actually reversed so that you tend to use these colors in reverse order. Um, so Nord six is the base color and um, And then you sort of go down the number in five and four. Uh, so Nord five um, is for more subtle um, text elements. Um, and Nord six is used for elevated UI text elements that require more visual content attention. Um, so it's for plain text. 
um, and things like that. That's where your your focus should be, because um, it's quite bright. Um, and then, of course, we've got the frost colours, and I'm definitely using these wrong. Um, so I'm currently using Nord 10. Um, as my primary which may i suppose kind of be okay um as it says it's you know for needs more visual attention but it's actually the tertiary um it's like the third option and um, whereas nord 9 is secondary and nord 8 um is the primary so that should be this is the primary Nord seven, uh, sorry Nord eight, um, and Nord seven um, is more of a highlight color. So that's what you should use for rollovers and things like that. And I've got it all wrong um, in my setup at the moment. Um, I'm using like the light blue, um, which is I think Nord nine. Is that right? Uh, yeah, Nord 9. I'm using that for the highlight instead of um, what I should be using, which is that. No, oh, actually, not even that, I think. So I want to kind of fix things up and try out at least. I do like what I've got, um, but I think I should probably try to use Nord in its intended way. So I'm going to make some changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is nick some code from my website. <laughs> Why not? I've done it already. So uh, in here, I want just to make sure I'm up to date on here. Should be. I didn't. Uh, I didn't test, but I should be okay. Right, so here's my CSS. Um, and I've got all the nodes here and I've actually, I've labeled them up. Um, I should probably take that and fix things up. And here I've got slightly longer names for things um, and I've made sure that I'm using the right idea here. So we have the primary color is 8, secondary 9, 10 and then I have a highlight color which is 7 um, and then we've got text colors a set um, with uh, the back, you know, we've got tertiary is actually the gray effectively and so on. So I'm going to just nickel this um, and uh, update what I've got. So I'll leave that there for the moment, that block, because I'm going to effectively, I want to make sure that I've picked off everything as I go along. But I'm going to update that. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to update a bunch of things. So let's see, um, save that. Don't think there'll be any clashes of them. Not 11, 12, yeah, okay. Right, so um, let's see what we can do. Um, let's 
let's go to well actually it's probably best if I just go through all the components one by one and uh, do the thing right well, let's just uh, make that smaller so add snippet screen oh good point actually we've got some globals we should just deal with first so uh, on the body background that's now going to change background color so it shouldn't change anything there um, and then the color I want to change to primary text color And then for a H1, now what did I do on my site for that? Yeah, primary color. And then I go for H2 and H3, I go down secondary and tertiary. Um, Oh yeah, I'm not using them, am I? Uh -huh. Okay. I actually took them out because you're not really supposed to change the colors. So I'm going to do that for the moment as well here. I'm just going to take that out. Is this updating? It is. Okay, that's good. This is probably too big anyway, but we'll come back to that. And things like the highlight color here, that's wrong. That needs to change. So text decoration. Uh, so if I do have any links, which don't think I have at the moment. Um, they should be from now on a primary color. So this is different to text color because it's actually sort of an actionable item rather than text. Um, now inputs, this is where it gets interesting. Um, I've got the wrong thing, I think. Um, if I look at Nord's descriptions, for the greys, Nord 1 is what I should be using. Is that what I'm using? Hold on. Input background. I am using, oh, okay, I am using the right one. That's assuming I've read this right. Innovated, more prominent or focused UI elements like status bars, panels, modals, and floater pop-ups, user interaction form components like buttons, text, select fields, or checkboxes. Okay.
Nord 2 is the text selection color, which is a bit strange. Come back to that. Look at um, these. Okay, so it is Nord. Nord 2 is what I should be using for selection. Hmm. Okay. So let's do, we're going to have to do a have to add something here. So let's do... Okay, so I actually want this. I'm just going to move this up. I'll put it at the end here. So these are my... sort of um, extra ones, I guess. So what I'm going to have here is selected text. nice selected text background is what it should be presumably or no it is the color so, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't make sense. So what's the background for selected text then?
Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing what I should be using as the select color. Okay. No, it's a null two is actually the background. At least in our editor. It doesn't make sense if it's for selection. So that's Nord 2, in theory. But what do we do here? That's even lighter. See, that doesn't really stand out. Presumably, that must be Nord 3. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that one. So let's do that it's text, selected text, background. And we'll make it north 3 for the moment and we'll see what happens. So in theory, that can go away. Hmm. 
or not. Why has that been overridden? I'm going to have to set it. Okay. Uh, border. So at the moment, I'm using Nord 3 for a normal border. I think I'll keep that. Yeah. Where else we got here? Okay, focus. Now that needs to now change to secondary color which is probably a little bit brighter I think am I right add Nord 9 and it's now oh it was Nord 9 yeah okay that's the reverse is in the middle of the changes there so that's okay and then selection which is this I'm now going to change to selected text background Which is alright actually. It's nice and it's not quite the blue was okay, but yeah. It certainly stands out. So I'll keep that. Okay, so I do have danger. Um, and I've named them the same, have I? All right, yeah, I've got error, danger, warning, and success now. So danger is not what I want. Yeah. Um, in that context there, because that is actually... slightly different what I could do I do that So this should be wrong color. No, that's not changed. I must be using something else there. Right. 
do want to do there is make an error. We'll come back to that in a minute. All right, and then there's no more colors in here. Okay. So that's everything global kind of sorted there. All right, add snippet screen. We didn't have any overrides on colors. So I think we're okay. On the bottom, we have lots of use of color. Now I'm using danger here, but what I really mean is error because it's basically a delete button. So, we have oh, oh if I just got bored, I still have the knife. Hmm, I should change that to border color to keep it in because then we can have border width and border this and that and the other. That's why I did that. So So, box shadow color. Background color. Right, this is where things are going to change. So the background color should now be highlight color. When we do a hover or a focus. Um, and the color we will change to, so the text, Well, hold on, that's hard to see until I actually get the primary colors sorted out. So, primary color. No longer have back foreground. We're going to have. Hmm, this could be fun. Um, Primary text color. This might clash a little bit. So the save button is about to change and we'll see what happens. Oh, that is bright. Oh, 
Not sure whether that... That colour's right. That's better. Hmm. What happens? What what kind of colours have we got here? Right, yeah, they've used black as well. I think that's the same colour. Yeah. Okay. Then they bolded up the text as well, which I might come to later. Um okay, so let's finish off these bottom ones here and then we'll go back and do the highlighting again. So the danger is actually gonna be error. Uh, with the foreground colour. I think we should be able to get with primary. Text colour. And the border colour will keep solid. So it'll be error colour. That works. And then the secondary is basically an outline. And so the background color remains background. The color is going to be secondary text color. And then the border color is also secondary color. Actually, no, that is secondary color as well. It's going to change slightly here. Oh no, it's not the same as that. Okay. So highlighting, um, That should be background. Oh, it's disabled. I haven't got there yet. Okay, one second. All right. Stay on. All right, so highlight. Background color. Think highlight. Because I kind of want it to do the same as primary, but just using the highlight color. It's okay. It's distinct enough. 
and then for disabled. Hmm. So if I um if I kill the back end demon I should go into disconnected mode. And so at the moment it's using this orange, uh, which is not great. So that's danger, which is wrong. I need to switch that to error. I'll do that in a minute. Um Although it kind of ties in with this. But anyway, um, disabled. I wonder if all I should really do there is just dim everything. So let's just take these out for a sec. And then in what percentage am I using for dimmed? Fifty percent. Wonder if that will work. It's not bad. Right, well, you shouldn't get highlight. <laughs> so that's actually. bug fix to happen there. Uh, can I focus them? I can. Okay. That's another thing to fix up there then. So, can I... Do I have to do this then? We combine. Thought that thought that's what you had to do. I've done it somewhere. So how do you spell pseudo? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm having a bad day. Right. P S E. Keep getting it wrong. Combine P S E E E O.
I don't really want to do combinators, do I? See, that's not going to work. Hmm. Okay, well, what I'll have to do There must be a way of doing that How do we turn off of a Just disable it. Maybe maybe I can use not. So let's try that. So pretty sure can I do something like that and then do can I then do like not? Disabled. Let's try that. Hmm. Well, the focus is still doing it. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. 
you can cancel. That's the whole point. <laughs> okay, I screwed things up there. Let's go back. Put that back in. And then we'll go back in here. And then we'll take that off again. Right, so now, right, yes, the knot works, okay. That's fine. Okay, good. All right, so on hover, as long as we're not disabled, we do the hover color. Um, and we just disable, we just like change the opacity on the others, which is fine. Okay. That's better than what I had. Okay. So that's them. So we've now done button, haven't we? Oh, I've already run out of time. Primary, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we've done that. Okay. I think we're good there. Everything has got color on the end, which is basically how I know I've done it. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Um, I'm going to have to stop here because I've got a um, stand up. Um, and I'll just go in here as my next thing. But there's nothing to do, so that's fine. Icon. Nothing to do. Input. Stuff to do. You know, a mind of where I am. Okay. Uh, eventually we'll get to the point where this is going to go back to red, I think, because I don't think the orange is quite right. Yeah. Right, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.